I'm Tanya, I work at SCT as the Global Marketing Director for Feminine Care. Our brands Bodyform and Libres have been known for destigmatizing periods and vaginas and vulvas. When I joined uh, the feminine care category roughly five or six years ago, what I found is a brand that was adhering to all the cliches and advertising stereotypes, you know, women rollerblading, wearing uh, white pants, and I thought we don't need a period pet brand to put even more pressure on women. So what we did is we changed the entire purpose because the more we researched, the more we understood that just, you know, providing products that absorb blood is not sufficient and women can't walk away and be confident. It's a rallying cry that unites us across markets, across uh, agencies. When Blood No More, uh, the campaign was ready, um, actually, we faced a lot of rejections. Markets uh, felt very uncomfortable, they didn't want to air it. Music companies who didn't want to be associated with a period care brand. TV stations who said, you're not allowed uh, to uh, put that on air. Social media companies uh, who said, well, uh, that's way too much. And even lawyers told me that um, we're causing widespread public offense. But together with the agency, we, we kept on pushing. It became viral and women across the world uh, resonated with it. So I think one of the learnings I had is just never give up. And ultimately by now, fast forward, uh, five years later, there is hardly any feminine care brand in the world that is um, still advertising uh, blue liquid because it's just fundamentally wrong. Women bleed blood. I think what's important when working with creative people, don't expect to see the expected. Also avoid um, creative development by committee because that just kills uh, all creative work. And then I think really try to give freedom to let talent shine. If I think of brands that I would love to work with in the future, I think it comes down to two things. One, I really want to do marketing for and with women. Uh, and the second one is I need to be allowed to drive change, uh, to really uh, address anything related to uh, gender equality. And then uh, the brand uh, that allows me to do that, I'm totally ready for it. I was really overwhelmed with the amount of hate, but at the same time, it also taught me, you know, not to give up because if it was easy, everyone would do it, but it's really, really hard. What we achieved with Blood Normal uh, was we overturned uh, advertising bans, we changed advertising regulations, and I think we transformed the feminine care category uh, forever. I would say courage is contagious, but you have to be willing to take risks uh, and inspire others. If it doesn't scare you, it probably isn't that good. That's what I <laughs> often tell myself. I absolutely believe that marketing and advertising can change the world because our brands, uh, we're the number five brand in feminine care globally, we reach more than 300 million uh, women. So we are given a lot of budget and I think that comes with the responsibility and we better do something to leave the world in a better place. And I think that's also what gets me up in the morning, gets me out of bed.